Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nathan Moore. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. <laughs> ladies and <laughs> ladies and <laughs> ladies and Toes. We'll live anyways. 
Yeah, we'll live anyways. We'll live anyways. Thank you. so much. There's times at this point where it is a little hard to get comfortable, a little, a little sick of the bars, you know, the uh, bar stools. I, I haven't sat in a chair like my lazy boy at home in, in weeks now. I saw her just the other day She was wearing those white jeans she wore That time we played in the dirt And she looked good She looked good She looked so good mm -hmm. It hurt She said it's good how you been? Thought I was doing fine till I saw you, but I didn't say that I held it in. But I couldn't stop. My hands were shaking, I tried to smile, but with her, it was always all or nothing. And she looked good, she looked good, she looked so good. As if I had my own But I couldn't stop thinking I was just wanted to start drinking But they say you shouldn't drink alone She looked good, she looked good, she looked so good
missed that. Fading in the sky above the boxcar Train rolls right along Oh my darling What am I doing? Sit still, I think of you. So I'm heading out on to the ocean. Right now, just pushing through. How's it feel to be in here with a bunch of Puritans? I mean, Jesus Christ, what are... How come you guys have never been in jail? What, 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 do, you, what do you know that we don't? That... <laughs> I've been in jail three times. And... No, no, no. Don't make me feel like Obama or something. Don't do that. Um, the, uh... <laughs> I've been in jail three times. Woo! I am, oh, man. That's sort of like, I smoke cigarettes. Woo! It's, it's, I mean, it's true. It's true. It's a beautiful thing. I, 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 as a writer, I understand that applause maybe even deeper than you meant it. Because, I, I mean, I remember the first time I got mugged in Boston with a knife, like, stuck like it didn't pierce my skin but it was held to my stomach and I pleaded for my life and the guy took all my money and let me go and uh, the second I knew I was going to live and he was going down the stairs I was filled with elation as a writer I had just had an experience I couldn't have paid $56 for I mean I guess you could hey here's 56 bucks mug me but uh it's just not the same, you know? The first time I got thrown in jail, I was a college student, and uh, in my thirst for... 
<laughs> my thirst for awesome noises like that. Uh, I, my thirst for experience. I um, moved in into an apartment in town where I was going to school with a guy named Jesus and a guy named Zach. And I could tell that it was like a, it's gonna be an experience living there. So I moved in and everything was pretty awesome, you know. I was just playing as much music, if not more than ever, and getting really into music and records and stuff. And I remember I was getting ready to go home for one Christmas, and, uh, and I knew that one-armed Joey downstairs had some, some video games that he had offered to sell me, and my brothers are really into video games, so I went down and I knocked on one-armed Joey's uh, apartment door, and I was like, hey, you still got those video games? I'm, I'm going home for Christmas. I'd like to buy some for my little brothers. He's like, yeah, sure, come on in. There's a, I never really hung out with One-Armed Joey, but uh, except once to check out his boa constrictor. But, uh, you know, he seemed like a nice enough guy, I guess. But I'm sitting there, and I'm playing various video games one at a time, trying to imagine what my brothers might like for Christmas. When there's this huge pound at the door, I mean, it's not a knock. It's a, this door is going to come down after the third knock. And I was I didn't know what was going on. I'd never felt anything like it. So I, there was a girl sitting there, and I was like, come on, let's go. And I grabbed her, and we ran down to the basement. And the next thing you know, you hear all this commotion upstairs, and freeze, and blah, and all this stuff. And, and we're, like, down there going, oh, shit, what's going on? And, and um, they're really cracking down on video games, I guess. But uh, I, I, uh, I'm in the basement, and the, it causes violence, you know, these video games it causes violence so they smashed the door in and and we ran to the basement and um and the next thing you know there's this cop with a gun on me like pointing a gun at me pointing a gun at me <laughs> my god that is a feeling that is a feeling right there and uh so then he brought us upstairs and and put us in handcuffs behind our back and they had these dogs and they said okay get down on the floor, but any sudden movements and the dog will attack. <laughs> I'm handcuffed like this. And I'm not, you know. And uh, no sudden movements, you know. So I actually was pretty graceful about that whole thing, but I was scared shitless that I was going to fuck that up and uh, get attacked by the dog. They start letting people go, calling them by their names and stuff. And, we don't need you, we don't need you. Nathan Moore. Please. Yeah, you uh, come with us. I'm like, what is going on here? Apparently, someone had jumped out the bathroom window with a sheet of LSD in, on them, and as they ran, 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 they threw the, all the shit out of their pockets, and a sheet of LSD landed in the backyard. Well, I lived upstairs, it was my backyard. And I had lost my school ID several months before. <laughs> so I got taken in for a sheet of LSD, which in Virginia, the, uh, the bond for that was way more than you get for murder. Way more than you get for rape. Way more than you get for kidnapping. It was like $100,000. I mean, it was just something crazy. And luckily, I come from a middle-class family that uh, had a good relationship with the bank. And my dad drove through the snow and on the third day got me out. That was the first time I was in jail. Oh, my God, I could tell you stories and stories about that. I remember they were taking me to the, uh, the arraignment court. And we were all in shackles and everything, and I was in a holding tank with all these people. And I tried to hold it, and I tried to hold it, but it's like laughter in church. Once you get the idea, it just overcomes you, and you can't help but laugh. But for me, it was tears in the holding tank. And the last thing I wanted to do was cry in front of all these seemingly hardened individuals. And, uh, but I couldn't hold it anymore, and I started crying. And I'll never forget that one of them came over and sat next to me and said, Man, you don't belong here. Uh, and uh, he was the nicest guy to me th that entire stretch. Time goes so slow when you're in jail. I don't know if they'll make the bail. But I know they're out there 
God bless them trying If I was alone and poor In here I'd be dying You know what, if I should be in jail tonight Then no money should set me free but if I should not be in jail tonight, I should be freed, for free. I wrote this song when I got arrested going into High Sierra about four years ago. Our tour band got pulled over. Apparently I didn't yield the right of way going up a mountain. I didn't know you had to cop pulled us off the bus and he told me to stick out my tongue and I stuck out my tongue and he said I see marijuana residue on your tongue I'm searching the bus true story I see marijuana residue on your tongue I'm searching the bus he busted me for about that much mushrooms that someone had given me like months and months ago that I'd forgotten all about in my duffel bag so I said to the cop, do you think you done some good? He said, I got drugs off the street. That's what I do. Well, I would have laughed if I only could. Just thinking about the cow turds where my felony grew. Then no money should set me free If I should not be in jail tonight I should be freed For free But so the middle time I got thrown in jail I was living in Austin, Texas And I was hanging outside of the Emo's Club Where I used to shoot pool every night it was my way of being down there in those days. And I was hanging outside, you know, just sitting there, and this, this cop car drives by, and this young kid, maybe, it was a stupid thing to do, but he flipped the cop car off. <laughs> he's like, fuck you, fuck you. The cop car slams on its brakes and jumps out of the car, and they grab the kid. They start dragging him towards the car. I go, I run over there. I'm like, you can't treat him that way. You can't treat him that way. You can't treat him that way. And I swear to God, in midstream, it went from, you can't treat him that way. You can't treat him that way. You can't treat me this way. You can't treat me this way. You can't treat Before you know it, I was right there beside him. <laughs> mm hmm Drunk in public. Well, can I take a, a breathalyzer or some kind of test to prove my innocence? I've only had a couple of beers. No, there's no burden of proof on the part of the officer for this charge. Hmm. Well, the man sitting next to me had no one on the outside. But he shook my hand when he walked through the door And I liked him right away More than anyone I'd met that day I Left him sitting there When they called my name they said more If I should be in jail tonight then no money should set me free But if I should not be in jail tonight I should be free For free Thank you This is a special night. This is great, Joe. Great run. I, I'm just going to be doing one more set before going up, <coughs> going up to, Mo to Montreal in a, 
Davis has these exciting plans of completely reinventing ourselves. So we're going to spend 10 days up there, and then we're launching our next tour in the world uh, here in Burlington in a couple of weeks. Really excited about that. Really excited about that. So I'm going to play a few more. It's a special night, though. Patty and his, his guys uh, got together and learned a few of my songs, so we're going to rock out with the band here later on. And uh, let's see. to other eyes But you can always feel it there When a woman cuts your hair And when a woman calls your name It never again quite sounds the same And all through your running years Rings that way in your ears And you'll want to hear it again and again When a woman When a woman can do that part of you has been told been touched and turned to gold even if you didn't want it to when a woman touches you there like a knife Apologize, apologize Cause no starvation so denies Is when a woman When a woman be a chance that we'd have um uh, let's see we maybe could if you guys 
fellow Jedi's out there, we, we, we have a chance here with uh, something we could achieve. Overpass. We made blankets out of tumbles ears, and we scratched. You can fly into the sidewalk, and then she brought me by the hand to tears. Night is spun on silver tongues. We fly towards the morning sun on silver wings, stained with rings. Wine is our morning song. La 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 She showed me her statue of liberty on a warm and windy marching night and convinced me every little light should be shining. Now I will never give up a good fight The night is spun on silver tongues We fly towards the morning sun On silver wings stained with rings Of wine is our morning song La 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 Champagne. The sky is wet with rain. We're two drunk souls on the same old piano, and we're laughing as the moon ticks soft and slow. Lord knows, Lord knows, Lord, Lord knows where. Night is spun on silver tongues. We fly towards the morning sun. Silver wings stained with rings. The wine is our morning song. La 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 la. possible tour. 
I remember coming up with that uh, name on the porch in the rain. I want to play like Jelly Roll Morton, write like Waldo Emerson, sing like Odell, say give me liberty like Patrick Henry. Escape like Houdini on the very last breath. I wanna fly straight as an arrow, crooked sparrow. I wanna swallow fire, I wanna paint the town red. I wanna understand, understand, under. Hold the whole world up over my head. I wanna die in battle, grow old with a wife, catch every kind of fish. Lord, I give anything to play the fiddle. I wanna know the recipe for every dish. I wanna bust some moves on the dance floor. I wanna sit in the back of a debaucherous den, a smoky debaucherous den. I wanna live to be a hundred and twenty, tell wondrous tales to my grandchildren. I want to start a new twist in philosophy I want to be a cowboy and an Indian I want to be an E.E. E. Cummings apostrophe I want to be fluent in every language I want to be a painter, the next Abby Hoffman I want to be the mayor of my hometown in the Blue Ridge Mountains I gotta get there more often Of madness, and I want to sit in the clear like a Buddhist monk. I want to turn the tables like Jesus. I want to cross all borders in a smuggler's trunk. I want to write code like a rope programmer. I want to sell potions on the side of the street. I want to survive some grisly summer learning which berries is safety. Playing smoking, be able to fix anything that gets broken. I wanna hang on when the question is spoken. I wanna let go when the wind is blowing. I want a light bulb to go off in my head like Edison. I want to get my brain around what Einstein said. Yeah, I wanna understand, understand, under, hold the whole world up over my head. I wanna understand, 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 and hold the whole world up over my head. I wanna understand, understand, under, hold the whole world. Well, I wrote a new song yesterday, and I'm terrified to play it, but I, I, you're making me play it, Johnny. Thank you. You've been such an angel to me. How could I say, how could I refuse? Jeez. That's, that's when my back, that's, you hear my back uh, creak? So that's what happens when a musician gets old. Ooh, hear that? Oh. <laughs> if you're down and out for the count. of the willow tree Count on this If you're down there now You won't always be 
you won't always be And if you're sitting up on top of the world Head and shoulders above the heat You better watch where you're stepping you won't always be You won't always be You can put a mustache on the Mona Lisa You can plant your palm in wet concrete You can bury your treasure But you won't always be Ain't that the that the truth that breaks the heart It's the same one that sets us free Whatever it is that you are You won't always be You won't always be It's alive and well The wisest sorrow Or the dumbest glee Hell, even if it's Dead and gone You won't always be You won't always be You can put a Stash on the Mona Lisa You can plant your palm and wet concrete You can bury your treasure But you won't always be That's it. Thank you. in the mood for the band Biting my time Biting my tongue Can't let this heart of mine Go on sun There's this dance I do And you cannot see Baby let me tell you about You and me Turn me loose Looking for proof My mind is in the gutter And my heart's on the roof Come on, get it together, girl Turn me loose, turn me loose Turn me loose 
turn me loose, turn me loose on you, on you, on you, on you. I'm gonna play one more, then we'll bring up the band. Strike up the band. Since the beginning, we've been spinning our wheels, trying to love, digging in our heels, wondering how could the angel tugging on our sleeve not be real well we deal the cards and read the signs and step in line with fate finding heaven's gate we hope we're not too late we've dispelled the magician but in magic we still have faith gotta make it gotta make it gotta make it make sense gotta make it make love gotta make it make believe Gotta make it, make enough for you and me. Beauty sits upon a stone and tries to prove me wrong. She sings all alone a faraway song that goes, I wasn't born inside you. I won't die when you do carry on. Well, I try to sing along, but my voice, it doesn't fit. It tramples, beauty is begging me to quit And I'm tired, willing, limping through a field of violet Gotta make it, gotta make it, gotta make it make sense Gotta make it make love Gotta make it make believe Gotta make it make enough For you and me Last thing that wisdom said, lying on his deathbed, was don't let the things you know go to your head. And then he took a breath, let out a laugh, and said, oh no, and then was dead. Well, I put pennies on his eyes and climbed up on a fence, satisfied, thinking, well, that's my two cents. Then surrounded, I surrendered. To let my songs be rendered by silence Gotta make it, gotta make it, gotta make it make sense Gotta make it make love Gotta make it make believe Gotta make it make enough for you and me Gotta make it make sense Gotta make it make love Gotta make it make believe Gotta make it make enough for you and me Gotta make it make sense Make it make believe. Gotta make it make enough for you and me. Hey, thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right, well, we're not near done. I did a rehearse some earlier with this band, so we're gonna bring the full band sound to you for a little while. We're gonna we're gonna let the let the guys set the mood for us though here. Thanks for having me, Patty. Thanks for doing this and thanks for coming, everybody. I do have CDs right over here and a mailing list, and I'll, I'll go over there for a little while with, um, during this break and uh, drink some bourbon. Encourage you to get on the mailing list over there. Free stickers because they're they're really silly and not waterproof or anything, but they're fluorescent orange. Uh, that's 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 good. And they're free. So uh, come check it out. And thanks for listening to the songs. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>